Hi friends, welcome to TurboMass channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 3 plus open parentheses, 16 plus 8 close parentheses divided by 8, then times open parentheses, 16 plus 8 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have addition, parentheses, division and multiplication. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. In the wrong way of solving this question, some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. 3 plus 16 plus 8 which equals 24 divided by 8, then times 16 plus 8 which equals 24. 3 plus 24 equals 27. 27 divided by 8, then times 24. 27 divided by 8 equals 27 over 8. 27 over 8 times 24. 27 over 8 times 24 equals 81. They say the final answer of this question equals 81, but this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 16 plus 8 equals 24. Now the question is 3 plus 24 divided by 8, then times open parentheses, 16 plus 8 close parentheses. Now we have addition, division, multiplication and parentheses. Again we simplify these parentheses. 16 plus 8 equals 24. Now the question is 3 plus 24 divided by 8, then times 24. Now we have addition, division, and multiplication. In this step, we simplify this division. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Now the question is 3 plus 3, then times 24. Okay guys, now we have addition and multiplication. In this step, we simplify this multiplication, because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 3 times 24 equals 72. Now we have 3 plus 72. 3 plus 72 equals 75. And the final answer of this question equals 75. Okay guys, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 7 to the power of 2 minus open parentheses, 2 minus 4 close parentheses, then times open parentheses 2 plus 4 close parentheses, minus 7 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have exponents, subtraction, parentheses, multiplication, and addition. In the wrong way of solving this question, some people solve this question like this. They say, 7 to the power of 2 equals 49. 49 minus 2 minus 4, which equals negative 2, then times 2 plus 4, which equals 6, then minus 7 to the power of 2, which equals 49. Again, they start from the left and simplify the question. 49 minus negative 2 equals 51. 51 times 6, then minus 49. 59 times 6 equals 306. 306 minus 49 equals 257. They say the final answer of this question equals 257. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Okay guys, as you know, in this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, a stands for addition and this stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. 
And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule in this question, first we simplify this parenthesis. 2 minus 4 equals negative 2. Now the question is 7 to the power of 2 minus negative 2, then times 2 plus 4, which equals 6, then minus 7 to the power of 2. Okay, guys. Now we have exponent, subtraction, and multiplication. In this step, we simplify this exponent. 7 to the power of 2 equals 49. Now the question is 49 minus negative 2, then times 6, then minus 7 to the power of 2, which equals 49. Okay, guys. Now we have subtraction and multiplication. In this step, we do this multiplication. Because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 2 times 6 equals negative 12. Now the question is 49 minus negative 12, then minus 49. Okay guys, 49 minus negative 12 equals 61. Now the question is 61 minus 49. 61 minus 49 equals 12. And the final answer of this question equals 12. Okay, guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 5 to the power of 3 minus open parenthesis, 9 plus 1 close parenthesis, then times open parenthesis, 8 plus 3 close parenthesis, then minus 5 to the power of 3. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have exponents, subtraction, parenthesis, addition, and multiplication. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. If you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, guys. According to the PEMDAS rule in this question, first we simplify this parenthesis. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Now we have 5 to the power of 3 minus 10, then times open parenthesis, 8 plus 3 close parenthesis minus 5 to the power of 3. Okay, guys. Again, we simplify the parenthesis. 8 plus 3 equals 11. Now the question is 5 to the power of 3 minus 10 times 11, then minus 5 to the power of 3. Now we have exponent, subtraction, and multiplication. First, we simplify this exponent. 5 to the power of 3 equals 125. Now we have 125 minus 10 times 11, then minus 125. Okay, guys, now we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. Because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 10 times 11 equals negative 110. Now we have 125 minus 110, then minus 125. Because we have negative and positive numbers on both sides, we simplify and we get the final answer of this question. The final answer of this question equals negative 110. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.